Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. In this video, we're going to look at inscribed angles within circles. When we're dealing with circles, an inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the outer edge of the circle, and both sides of that angle are chords of the circle. So if we draw a picture to illustrate what an inscribed angle is, So if we look at this picture, point B, the vertex of our angle, is on the outer edge of our circle, and the two sides, AB and CB, are both chords. Now there's a relationship between the measure of this angle and the measure of the arc that it intercepts, and it works like this. The measure of the angle is exactly one half of the arc that it intercepts. So in this case, this would be the arc that runs from A to C. So let's take a look at this example. We've got inscribed angle DEF in our circle, and we're told that the measure of that angle is a 30 degree angle. And what I want to figure out is what is the measure of the arc that runs from D to F? The relationship that we just talked about said that the measure of an inscribed angle is exactly half the size of the arc that it intercepts. So if we're dealing with a 30 degree inscribed angle, if we want to find the measure of the arc that it intercepts, then we just have to double it. So the measure of that arc from D to F is a 60 degree arc because the angle is half the measure of the arc, and 30 is half of 60. Now this relationship also works in the opposite direction. So let's say we knew what the measure of the arc DF was, and we wanted to go through and figure out how big this inscribed angle is. Again, the relationship is that the angle is half the measure of the arc. So if we know what the arc is, in order to find the angle, all we have to do is divide it by 2. So if we take 84 and divide it by 2, this ends up being a 42 degree angle for angle DEF. Now in this example, let's say we had our circle, and let's draw in an inscribed angle. And let's say that that angle was a 25 degree angle. And let's call our angle ABC so that we can eventually talk about another property with it. Now the property that we just talked about says that the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of the arc. So if we're dealing with a 25 degree angle here, then the measure of the arc that runs from A to C has to be 50 degrees because the angle is half of the arc. Now let's say we were to draw another inscribed angle that also cuts this arc AC. So I drew in a new vertex point D, and I connected A to D and C to D. What I want to do is I want to figure out how big this angle ADC is. And we know that it cuts a 50 degree arc because we figured that out earlier. And again, remember the relationship that we've been talking about says that the measure of an inscribed angle is half of the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So if this inscribed angle intercepts a 50 degree arc, then this angle has to be a 25 degree angle because the measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of the arc. So this leads us to a new property. And our new property says if two inscribed angles intercept the exact same arc, then those angles have to be congruent. So if we look at another example. In this example, let's say we've got an inscribed angle and its measure is 30 degrees, and then we draw another inscribed angle that intercepts the exact same arc. Its measure also has to be 30 degrees, because if two inscribed angles intercept the exact same arc, they have to be congruent. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.